That Min Min had few, the dog. Speaking of a few dogs, man. Yeah, oh my gosh. Dogs, the SA team kill on stream. Dude, so I got a bit of insight into this matchup. Mm. Like this player matchup from Con. Oh, yeah. And we could be seeing a, va a wide variety of characters here. Mm. From the two, like, from primarily the two solo dedicated mains. solo mains. Nah, they they, do, right, they be swapping. He's, he's got an incineral for the fox. That's so funny. Con plays Wolf and also Ditto's Brad Tide Show sometimes as that well. That is so funny. Yeah. So we could be seeing a wide variety of matchups. I hope I, so. I assume. Yeah, Instant Fox, yes. I assume we'll be seeing Instant Fox to begin. And then who knows what could happen. Might I say, like, a little bit of a divergence, but two incredibly handsome young men. Okay, I'll give it up. Like, these guys, like, drip the fuck out. Yeah. Um, Taicho's looking fantastic this weekend. Same with Khan. Like, these guys, they're, you know... Yeah. Just gotta hand it to them. Just, you know, when they're watching the stream back, like, I actually already complimented Taicho on his outfit. I think it's, like, very nice. And and Khan, I gotta say, I wish I had that coverage for my beard. I gotta shave here, because because I don't get the coverage. Yeah, he's got... Yeah. And, like, the jawline. Like, man. Anyway. And he's, I hope we see some wacky characters. I'm, like, very keen. Oh, Brad Tarch is not on the setup. What? Brad Tarch is not on the setup. Not on a setup? Not on the setup. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> not being on the setup at your tournament. That's <laughs> like, crap. Yeah, it, it'd be like that. Nah, I'll, be, I'll, I'll get there. Like, whenever I play sets at Temple, it's always, like, yeah, I get it. Better put my name in. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I gotta say, the Valhalla music is like so good. I totally like. They, it's really good character select screen music. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever select it for in the middle of a match. Yeah. But as like vibing while we're like on the on the CSS, yeah, I'm I'm down. There it is, the Incineroar. Oh yeah. yeah. There's the money. Incin Fox. And not to make it a, a wider Australia versus the world rule set discussion, yeah. um, but I think the fact that counter picks can exist in our like thing is just another proof that like yeah, you you have to do characters before stages. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. this is what counterpicks are about. Counterpicks are about not liking the character matchup. No, counterpicks aren't about cheesing the stage list so you have every available good stage to every yeah. character. Yeah. Oh, okay. A bit of strife. Yeah, that was, that was almost Corvid City. Revenge neutral B. <laughs> I gotta say, this, uh, this Taicho Insin? Yeah, it's no joke. It might be the wave. It could be the move. He told me, like, I only found out about this yesterday. And I was like, oh, I thought you were playing in some role. And he's like, yeah, we both had the same idea. That's so funny. Insin is actually, like, the renaissance of Ultimate. Insin is, like, the return to the classics. Like, we went through the dark age of Min Min, Steve, Kazuya. Now all these random Insin players. Yeah, they're polluting the streets. Yeah. They're actually like, yeah, this is this is classical Smash Bros. It's like you kill with one big aerial. Like that. Dude, the Nair in this matchup is so, so good. Last time I played against Corvid, oh my god, the Nair in this matchup. Fox actually pops. Like, like... You hit him at 60 anywhere. So the reason, yeah, so the reason, one of the reasons the matchup's bad is if you get hit by Revenge, you're in a tech situation. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Yeah. That is nuts, actually. I hadn't thought about that. Revenge, and he can, like, run off stage oh, Revenge wow. every time as well. Like, yeah, it's pretty good. And Fox doesn't necessarily, like, own Incineroar either because of that, like we said, the Nair. Mm. So good. And like you still have to play the the Incineroar 50-50s. Like these like um the side B's on shield. Um 
like the dangerous like down tilts and you know like the stuff that like kind of pops you up and you're like oh do I just die if I get back air here do I have yeah. to air dodge and then you get F smashed and you're like oh I guess I'm double dead should lose two stocks for that so good dude Connor's so good at grabbing actually mm. I know it sounds dumb but no. like especially when you're playing Fox like it's so easy to condition the micro field. movement. Like look at look at this guy. Look at how he's spinning around yeah. and walking. Like he might be the goat actually. <laughs> like just like so. Hey, look at this, dude. Like so many fox players are just they spend fifty percent of their game stuck in initial dash. Yeah. You know, like like going a hundred to zero. Like they get their advantage state combos, but like the neutral they don't abuse fox's insane acceleration and walk. Yeah. And, and the other thing with Fox is he threatens, his threat is so different whether he's facing you or away from you. You know? Oh. Like mixing yeah, like it up. Yeah, dash attack and up tilt mainly, right? Yeah, so. dash attack, up tilt and grab as well. Like dash grab. So there's just like, yeah, it's crazy. Wow. Oh, like, like the wall, how good. dude. That being said, this is Incineroar and... <laughs> the angle! Oh. Why does it sound like that? Side B. Dude! Bit of strife here. Oh, he's done it! He's actually done it five times in a row. Hit every single one. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> this is my tournament. You know, <laughs> like... like That's crazy. I mean... Like, you throw here. It's a lot easier to hit that. The up B going to the left. Yeah. I would have opted for a more of an angle instead of going straight on. I understand you want to mix up the timing. Mm. But, um, hey, barbecue chicken for Brett Deutscher. It's also way. like, um, that Incineroar down tilt is so consistent. Like, it's one of the best down tilts in the game for scooping people off the ledge. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, I, I think, actually, it is such a contributing factor to Incineroar's relevancy in this game. I think if he didn't have that down tilt, that scoops so many recoveries. Like, I've watched it scoop, like, every... I've watched it scoop Palutena Teleport. I've watched it scoop I got B. Like, this this move just wins. Yeah. Like, little kitty paws. Man. But hey, that was that was in the in the palm of Khan's hand. Yeah, I mean, that was Khan favored for the most part. Um, but, I mean, that's just how it's all plays, right? Mm. How don't, the dice don't, falls. Don't need much. And the same music. It's a little bit anxiety inducing. It's really like intense. The drums. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Dude. This CQC. Brad escaping momentarily. I think uh, Fox's directional air dodge as a ticket out of disadvantage um, is like a very unique option. Yeah. Because he falls so fast, so you can air dodge in any direction and you hit the ground very like shortly after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like some characters where if you like commit to a left or a right air dodge, you're like inactionable for a long time. Um, with Fox, you can air dodge left, right, or even slightly up, and you're still going to hit the ground very soon and and be able to like get out of there and reset to neutral. Tom loves fair from the ledge, man. It's actually insane. We're watching him versus who is it? him versus Rebs. He's God, he loves some some fair from the ledge. Fox right, fair. Right. See what I mean? Always a tech situation. Did you see how menacing Taicho? Dude, darkest lariat. <laughs> That's the neutral B. Yeah. It's called um, with revenge. Yes. Yeah, I said the name in the move. <laughs> yeah. I just had to. I remembered it. The I had darkest like a, lariat. A Jimmy Neutron brain brain blast. <laughs> I was like, "That's the name of the move." The Alolan Whip. Alolan Whip. Yeah. Nice. That's actually... That situation, yeah. Too good. When the Victorian Math player pops off, that's the Alolan Whip. <laughs> so bad. All right. <laughs> Back on this ledge with the down tilt, putting him in mad work. 
And Con knows, now Con knows, right? He's he had a big lead game one, he's got a big lead again game two. But That's man, so that, uh, funny. The talk is Larry at, like to him, punish the up tilt, to punish the late up tilt as well. Knowing, knowing where you can break out of these box combos, either with something like the neutral B or even with like a revenge or just you know a defensive option, yeah, um, is so important versus Fox. Because otherwise, it feels inescapable. Like if you don't know, dude, I think he's only hit this move the last four times he's won neutral. Well, I mean, if it works, or if it's all you can get. In, in this case, maybe. Oh wow, Con definitely going for us match there. Not getting that trade. I mean, this is the same scenario we were in last game. Bit of a charge. Not gonna kill. Is that? Oh, he's so dead. Yeah. Wow. Back air like is is the wave. Oh yeah. That's actually like Mission such complete. a good little trick. Um, versus any of these characters, uh, it's the reason why light goes for it so much, right? Like. That just like back air, um, back air at the ledge. Yeah, I mean it's the idea. It's like the idea that right. This back air is like incredibly difficult to punish. Mm. If we only move we use, mm. we're gonna kill him with back air eventually. It's true, and and also like Fox. If you're not finding back air, like up air and up smash, like they can kill at reasonable percents, but most of the time they're killing like. Like 150 on Incineroar. Yeah. Like they're taking a while. Whereas a good back air at 100 on the ledge, you've saved a third of the work. You know, you've cut the corner. If I could get away with doing one third less work with a like almost lagless, unpunishable l move that you can use in a ledge trap, yeah, I would. So fast, man. And we're on Battlefield. This is Brad's pick. Um, I'm obviously not an incineral uh, connoisseur, so I don't really have an idea. But I would figure that this is this is this is great for Fox. It is oh, definitely wow. great for Fox. But Incin does at least again the neutral like. Wow. Wow. The crowd is hollering. This is a sick set, by the way. Like, this is some really good Incineroar gameplay from Taicho. Like, he, he clearly knows the stuff. Yeah. Like, very clean with it. Yeah, what I was going to say is I think that Incin... All right, yeah. Great recognition. Like, you got to find those when they get given to you. Yeah, I think Incin, Incin up air on a stage like this is pretty nuts. Um, catches you shielding on platform. Oh! oh! My god. Every time Kong's uses up B, he's actually gotten, like... Punish for it off stage. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, right angle. Yeah, just like sliding up for a little bit of delay. You don't want to be trading all these blows with the cat. You need to suffocate him. Try it again. And this is nice. I'm liking like how much lower commitment Con is playing now. Like And you're so fine with that. Oh, is that it? Oh. Look, getting out of this situation. Dash stack. Yeah. That's the bad DI. And Brad yeah. looks like he's warmed up for it now. I mean... Just I know I said before yeah. that we could be seeing some like different character picks from Con, but... Man, you come with this side of the Fox. I think it'd be... It'd be unfortunate to swap off. Look, we saw a pocket of greatness there. I think that last, like, minute... Um, when Con is, like, able to kind of hold stage control like threaten a lot and like play that non-committal fox um it's pretty good like it demands respect and on a character like incineroar even more so um you really don't have the ability to like you know like if you play the rock paper scissors with fox like fox has dynamite like always like this character is super sick but he definitely has the ability to cheat the rps um and 
I think that's Con saving Grace in a matchup where if you lose the RPS, you die. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you don't even have to play it. Yeah. Harry Jab. That's damage. The main thing I think, I mean, obviously this this matchup is like some people think it's bad, some people think it's like fake bad. I wanna see Incinero on the ledge more, man. Like it I understand Con's idea. He always wants to be in a certain space. Mm. But I think you gotta go aggressive on this ledge trap. You gotta keep Incinero on the ledge, you gotta make sure he's staying there. It's just a lot of respect, right? And like oh, yeah. Incin obviously oh. has Yeah, see that's not killing at one like one thirty, like when he hit it. Or one twenty five. Um Need to be a little bit higher, even when it's super fresh. Oh, wow. I think, like, respecting all of Incineroar's, like, kind of goofy options, like, ledge drop Revenge, like, ledge drop Darkest Lariat, like, like, ledge drop Side B. Um, like, Khan really just does not want to get hit at all costs. And I can, I can see the oh. rationale. Money. He's at 150. This is up smash. Easy. Oh my god, he's almost starting to dash but That's maximum rage for Brad. He's angry. Brad's been angry a couple times this weekend. <laughs> Running a tournament definitely takes a lot. Oh, for sure. And the suspect DI's got to get in that stock. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, watching too many Dawn balls. A little, I don't know a little bit one. slippery. Oh. And you're actually living a little bit longer now with there's no rage on the, uh, on... Nice. Oh, wow. That's fine. That's fine. The oh, early getting a bit lucky. Oh. A few lucky interactions into an unlucky interaction that they're taking it out. That's the thing here. Like, as soon as you bite off more than you can chew, you are taking so much damage. Oh, I'm and, uh, It's even. It's even. Two moves and it's even. Then two. Con freaking out disadvantage a bit. I don't like these high recoveries, man. Yeah, not on battlefield. I know you've been getting freaked out from the the down tilts. The thing, the thing versus Insin, I think. Oh no, he went for the smash four, right angle again. That was an insane recovery. Good angle, perfect distance as well. Like snapped barely. Okay. The thing here is when you land on a platform and shield, Insin still has access to a lull and whip. Like you're not even safe landing on a platform. Okay, go for it. Oh, there you go, the mix up. Okay, nice, really nice. Oh, he's done it again. Yeah, like I said, Con loves it from the ledge. Brad Tacho, he plays Con a lot. He knows it's coming. Yeah, exactly. It's so hard now, you need to kill. Every. Dude, he's at 50! Yeah, I he's know. He's at happened. 50! The numbers! Oh, no, the up smash. I'm in shock. Neutral B's first hit does like 20%. Oh, he went for it all. Nice. I'm liking this little micro movement. No, no I don't like it. I don't like it. I mean, I understand. Oh, trust me. I understand. But you really going to risk your tournament life on that on that off match working? And I think I might be it. No. Oh, Bad my That trade gosh. again. That's what's going to do it. You gotta be careful for that nair just coming down. Okay. Oh, Cons dropped something. Cons, Cons literally dropped something. He's like dropped his watch or phone or something. Yeah, crazy. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Reset. Get this mental back. Okay, dash attack. Trying to go for the fair kill. Like that would kill there, but the, nair. this nair is gonna kill. By the way. Back at bad DI. That's gonna yeah. do it. Wow. Taicho Incineroar. Oh, and he is going Super Saiyan. You can't see it on the camera, but he's stomping around having he's a great time. It. Oh, look at that. He's done it. Yeah, the big man himself. Look. He's he, fucking done it. He deserves it, I think. You know, you run a tournament, you get a win. Yeah, he was so like, close last year as well. You got to be happy with that. Um... By the way, what's with all the dark-haired men with beards? <laughs>